Alright, welcome back to the channel. So, we were kind of right. We were going to get the announcement for the new DLC uh, tomorrow, which is now today. Um, yeah, so Africa Pack, not a huge surprise. Actually, not a surprise at all. Um, you know, kind of got spoiled there a little bit by a couple of the modders who were digging around in the files. But, you know, that's kind of on Frontier for leaving, you know, tidbits like that in the files. But anyways, yes, we are getting the Africa Pack Uh going to be awesomely fun. So let's dive in here, take a look at what they have revealed for us, and talk about what's going to be coming up in the next week as we wait for this pack to drop. So first up, the flagship animal of the pack, at least in Frontier's opinion, is going to be the meerkat. It's on the cover art, it's on you know the DLC art, and good lord, they look fantastic. They also feature really heavily in the trailer um yeah no these little guys are looking amazing uh they're gonna have a cute little burrowing thing we have a new behavior added which is digging um apparently it's only for the meerkats right now hopefully it will get added to other things like the art farks later on but yes we finally have a true burrowing animal in planet zoo in terms of modding, this is kind of huge. Uh, this thing is going to be awesome for all of our mongoose, weasel, etc. type mods, so expect plenty of those coming down the pipeline here very, very soon. I can't wait to get my hands on this little guy to start messing around with that model. Up next, uh, it's going to be the white rhino. So the southern white rhino, this is something that we have been asking for and asking for and asking for. Basically, since Planet Zoo launched, we were all kind of surprised that, hey, we have an Indian rhino, we don't have either of the African rhinos. That doesn't make any sense. Well, here we go. We finally have the Southern White Rhino. Uh, the model looks awesome. Maybe not as high res on the texture as I would expect. Still looks great. I can't wait to start playing around with these guys. Man, they look fantastic. We didn't get to see them move around in the trailer, uh, we just have a couple of still images of them. Uh, so waiting on the reveal for them, they look great and looking forward to them. Then we have the Finnick Fox, probably the cutest entry in this DLC. Quite possibly the cutest animal Frontier has ever produced. These things are adorable. Can't wait to see more of these, can't wait to put them in my zoos, can't wait to start modding with them, they are fantastic. So we finally have a tiny, tiny little canine, or canid, to mess around with and start modding from. This probably also worked for very small cat rigs. And other small animals, we're finally going to be able to get those small animals to work well in terms of modding. Plus, I mean, gotta look at those little faces. We, we just can't wait to get in there and play with them. Uh, in this screenshot uh, for the Fennec, we can also see a new fence in the background, uh, some of the artwork. There's one little piece of artwork in there, and then the new, or at least what looks like a new tennis ball enrichment item. So we're going to be getting some new enrichment here. Super fun! So what we don't have revealed yet is the African Penguin, which is kind of an outlier entry into this pack. Okay, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need more penguins. We really, really need more penguins in this game anyways. African penguins are pretty heavily represented in, at least in US zoos, so great. Yeah, we can put more penguins in. They're super cute. I love them. So, and then also the Sacred Scarab Beetle, which we haven't seen, which will be our uh, exhibit species. They, uh, it's, it's a dung beetle. I mean, they're, they're very pretty. Very, very pretty uh, scarab beetles. Yeah, hopefully they um, hopefully they roll balls of poop around their exhibit. I really want to see that. They are, uh, yeah, they're neat critters. So we have a couple of other awesome things here. We got uh, from the Steam page a couple more screenshots. This one showing off the southern white rhino habitat, as well as the new Moroccan style, North African style building set that we have now. There is some fair criticism of this, in that it is basically... A lot of it is cloned from the Indian, uh, Indian set. Yeah, it, it kind of is. But it's new building pieces, so we can have fun with those. I can see repurposing some of these into like almost a Southwest style set. 
there's some new fencing here with the uh, rocks and the poles, which should be very, very nice. Um, I don't think these are handmade. I do think these are an actual uh, new fence set, at least I hope so, uh, just because they're featured in several different screenshots. It looks like it's all gonna be flexicolor. Yay, they finally listened to us on that. All oh, flexicolor, we need a flexicolor. One thing I'm not seeing in here is much in the way of new foliage, um, if any. There might be a couple new palms in there, but I think those are just foxtail palms. Not not really seeing much in terms of new foliage, which is a shame because I, you know, if you're like me and love to cram habitats full of foliage, getting some new stuff to play with, new textures, new colors is always fun. So, moving on, we have another screenshot of the architecture that we're getting, this new building set. So this is kind of interesting, it's almost an Egyptian theme, so they're kind of blending Egyptian and Moroccan for this set. Awesome. Not really a true pyramid set, unfortunately, but um, this is very, you know, Egyptian temple style with the giant meerkat statues. <laughs> I don't know if there's really any real world counterpart to these things. If, if there is, God, I want to see it, but it's awesome. Um, some of the new signage as well. We have Egyptian style signage for some of the different animals. Awesome. Looks like the signs are all flexi color, hopefully. I'm hoping that just like everything is flexi color in this, really. It, it really needs to be. Yeah, this, uh, this pack looks like it's going to be super, super fun. Um, we're also getting, along with this, the free 1.6 update. And there was something uh, dropped on the forums here by uh, one of the community managers, Tim Smith, who let us know that he wanted to share another bit of information that one of the things coming to us in the free update 1.6, so if you don't buy, you don't buy the pack, you can't buy the pack, you're still going to get this. We're getting modular mesh fences. Modular mesh fences, you guys. I don't know how many times we've been asking for this, asking for this, asking for this. They listened. We've got them. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Frontier. Because that is going to make building backstage different stuff so easy. It's going to make doing implied aviaries easier, gonna really help reduce the piece count on some of those uh, really heavily built up zoos. You can replace your custom mesh stuff or th those really he piece heavy blueprints with some actual mesh fencing now. So yay, fantastic. So this is turning out to be a really great update, a really great pack. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Guys, let me know what you think down below. Are you thrilled about this? I'm pretty thrilled with it, even though it was spoiled. Hey, you know, that happens. Sometimes, you know, it, it's nice to know that something's coming up and what you thought it was, it actually is. Um, yeah, do you think they're going to surprise us with anything they haven't revealed yet? Some interesting foliage or new rocks or something that might be stuck in the... Uh, you know, deep down in the pack that we won't notice for a little bit, that won't get teased ahead of time, that we'll just get to find out about on the 22nd. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, drop a comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And, yeah, go ahead and wishlist this pack on Steam. Uh, yeah, and get ready to play on the 22nd. Thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one.